So in this question, we have two curves. So we have curve C1, which is given with parametric equations, x is equal to 10 cos t, and y is equal to 4 root 2 sine t. And we can see this here on the diagram, the kind of ellipse shape. And then this meets the circle C2, which has the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 66. And this is in the standard form of an equation of a circle. And we can see that these two circles meet at four distinct points. And we see on the graph they are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what are we asked to do? We're given that one of these points, S, lies in the fourth quadrant of the graph. So this means that it's in this section here. That's what the fourth quadrant means. And what we're asked to do is to find the Cartesian coordinates of S. So where it lies in relation to the origin. So how are we going to do this? So let us start off and write down what our equations are. So x is equal to 10 cos t and y is equal to 4 root 2 sine t. And then we have our second circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 66. So our first step is going to be substitute x and y from circle 1 into circle 2. So we'll substitute circle 1 into circle 2. So this will give us 10 cos of t all squared plus 4 root 2 sine of t and then we square all of that and that's going to be equal to 66 and then squaring this we'll have 10 squared which is 100 cos squared t and then we know over here that 4 root 2 squared is equal to 32 so therefore we'll have plus 32 sine squared t and this still is equal to 66 so now we want to solve this equation for t and we know that we can't solve an equation easily when we have cosses and sines so we're going to note that sine squared t plus cos squared t is equal to 1. So rearranging this, we have that cos squared t is going to be equal to 1 minus sine squared t. So what we can do is we can substitute 1 minus sine squared t into this equation here for cos squared of t, and then this will leave us with only terms which have sine in them in the equation. So therefore, we'll have 100 lots of the expression we want to sub in. So 1 minus sine squared t and then we'll add on 32 sine squared t and that's still all equal to 66. So our next step will be to expand these brackets here and that's going to leave us with 100 minus 100 sine squared t and then we'll add 32 sine squared t, and that is still going to be equal to 66. So now what we can do is we can add together our sine squared t terms, and then subtract 100 from both sides. So this is going to leave us with 68 sine squared t, and that is going to be equal to 34. Next, we can uh, simplify this slightly, and if we divide everything by 34, we'll have 2 sine squared t is equal to 1. Then dividing again by 2, we'll have that sine squared t is equal to 1 over 2. And then we can get rid of the squared by square rooting both sides. So we'll then have that sine t is going to be equal to the square root of 1 over 2, which is going to be 1 over root 2. And we know that this is now in a form in which we'll be able to solve. So we can therefore write that t is going to be equal to sine to the negative 1, 1 over root 2. And then putting this into our calculator, 
we get that this will be equal to pi over 4. So then referring back to the question, we were being asked to find the coordinates of s. So we know that this is going to be in the form x and y. So recall that we have two equations. We have an equation for x, which is 10 cos of t, and we have an equation for y, which is 4 root 2 sine of t. So what we can do, we now have a value for t, so we can substitute this value of t into these equations for x and y, and that's then going to give us our coordinates. So we'll have that x is going to be equal to 10 cos pi over 4. And putting that into our calculator, this comes out as 5 root 2. So that means the x coordinate is going to be 5 root 2. And then doing the same for y, we're going to have 4 root 2 sine pi over 4. And we put this into our calculator and it comes out with 4. But then looking at our diagram again, we can see here that we're looking for s. And we know because of the symmetry above and below the axis that these points of intersection are all going to have y coordinates either positive 4 or negative 4. So therefore we can see that s, the y coordinate, is going to be negative 4 since it's below the y axis. So therefore our coordinate y equals minus 4 since s lies below the axis. So then to write a concluding statement we're going to have that s is going to be equal to 5 root 2 comma negative 4 and that's how I solve this question. So this question was worth 6 marks and we pick up our first mark for knowing to substitute the parametric equations for circle 1 into circle 2 and we pick that up here. We then receive our second mark for identifying this trig identity here and how it's going to be useful to help take us forward and then we receive our third mark for substituting that into our equation. We then receive our fourth mark for getting to this stage here, so where sine of t was equal to 1 over root 2, and we then receive our fifth mark for solving this and getting pi over 4. And then we receive our sixth and final mark for substituting in our t value into our x and y equations and concluding that the point s has coordinates 5 root 2, negative 4.